Today I will show you how to have flow in your edits. Yo, hello, it's Povika from Editing Visuals here, and let's begin. Alright guys, so what is flow? Well, flow is basically like syncing and having like good speed ramping and also pan and cropping at the same time, and plus some cool effects, I think. But the effects part is just like a added bonus. First, we need to sync our clips up. So to sync your clips, you just have to look into your music. So for me, this is my music right here. And what you need to do is you have to press the button L two times and this wave form will pop up and now you will see these like higher points of the waveform and it's basically like the beats uh sometimes it's not like very accurate what it shows here because like here it's, there's no like real beat here but it's like higher than here but this is actually the part of the beat so you just need to listen in and see when the beat switches so and whenever a beat switches you should probably like mark it like with this marker so the beat switches here the beat switches here and the beat switches like somewhere here and like somewhere here and just keep going and i'll show you like what i mean so Listen in, guys. Okay, as you saw, this is kind of synced, but it needs some speed jumping. So, well, speed jumping is like when you make a clip like slower, like with the graph. I don't know how to like explain it very well, but I'll just show you what I mean. We have this whole little clip right here of them like kicking their feet or something and like lasts for this long, but I want to fit it into this portion of the video. So like from two to three, how do I do that? And how do I make it look cooler? Well, this is when speed jumping comes in. So you can press control, Alt T and then this will pop up and now we just need to keyframe the start and now I'm gonna go to the ending and also keyframe it there the ending of your clip and I'll just drag it right here perfect and now what we can do is we can select everything select these both keyframes and press F9 and now don't forget to press on this button right here which will give you motion blur and then also this resample or I don't know how it's called but yeah click it on here and now let's go to the graph editor so this is what a lot of editors are usually scared of but this is nothing to be scared of to be fair for speed ramping you can actually have this rule of always just making it like something like this so like dragging this point like up right here and this point right down here this is 90 percent of how every speed ramp looks just like this basically just like messing over these keyframes i do have to give you a great tip here if you make a really long clip shorter like this was not like a really long clip before this the length it was it was from two to right right here but if you have like a really long clip like you speed ramp like a let's say 10 second clip then you might actually want to add like a keyframe right here so by pressing here like in the middle and then you can actually like put this point like a bit upper here and then this like there but you don't need to do this if your clip was short already and this will make it a bit smoother so this is how it looks with this <laughs> But since this is a shorter clip, I'm just gonna delete this one. I'm gonna come back there and I'm just gonna leave it like this. And you can do this for every other clip. Sometimes, uh, I have said this in my speed jump video, you might wanna make the graph a bit different. So let's press Control Alt T again on this clip and just go into it, go to the last frame, which was right here. As you can see, this is the last frame of my clip. Keyframe is right here. I'll drag it here. And now let's select every keyframe, press F9, press on these two buttons, go to the graph editor. One other graph that some editors use which is like this so it goes super fast at the start and then just like super slow-mo at the end uh i used to like this graph but now i just stick with the easy graph most people use this graph and it just looks very good and that's how i actually also make a lot of my intros it's just like i use the speed ramp and then i add effects sometimes when you enable this button right here this can happen so for these instances i recommend to like press Control shift d on that part and it will cut it and let's just cut it out cut it out this one frame and just just uncheck it like that we just did some speed jumping that's not it though uh, what i do recommend is also having pan and crop pan and cropping is basically like adding scales and scale ups and scale downs so what you can do is like press s and this will bring up the scale keyframes and you can press on it to keyframe it so first we can make it like 100 here and let's say at the end we can make it to i'd say like 140 is kind of safe uh okay maybe actually for this clip it's a bit too much because they're already like zooming in so like maybe 125 and yeah we can press f9 and and go to the graph most people just doing like this like it instantly zooms in a lot of the time this is actually used to just transition so like for example this will be like for the whole clip but what most people do is like they take this keyframe and they drag it like right almost to the middle but a bit further and here you can go to the graph editor and here people actually like to make this like this i also like to do this zoom in at the ending and yeah you can do it for every other clip if you want i think it looks super dope you can also do it so it zooms out so how to do the zoom out so you would first need to 
to press S and you would need to like scale it up at the start, press the keyframe and then drag it to like the ending and at the ending make it like 100. So it like zooms out and then you of course select the keyframes, press F9, go to the graph editor and here you would actually need to make it like this because it's zooming out. Tiny zoom and you can of course make it like this if you want, just a bit less of that. It's gonna have a bigger effect here and yeah, you just gotta play around a lot. You can add like effects like warp, so for example like warp and go to warp style and make it to fisheye and make the bend to zero and keyframe the bends to zero here and go to the ending and make it like minus 70. It's gonna warp like that and we can press U and we can drag it to the ending and we can press F9, go to the graph editor and again really mess around here but I like to make it like something like this. This is gonna give a lot more impact. All right so basically I just showed you how to do the speed jumping, syncing and also I guess pan and crop. If you guys like this video enough I can make like a part two where I do a bigger deep down on this but for now, I think this will work. One thing I like for the flows is to add like some exposure when the flips start. So like you can press Control Alt Y and this will make an adjustment layer and you can Control Shift D and delete this part. Go like two frames forward and delete this part. And now we can add, for example, you can add exposure, just legit exposure and like make the exposure at like, like somewhere like here, I guess. And then like make it go like a bit down at the ending like this, exposure like that. Uh, what I like to actually do is I like to add like deep glow. This is a plugin but it's really good and it gives for a nice exposure i do like to drag down the exposure a bit so like 0.60 and you can uh, make it go down to like 0.4 at the end actually i think that's a bit too much so here i'm actually gonna make it to like 0.2 and it's gonna keep going up to 0.4 yeah, I think that's actually cooler. Yo, guys, you can do it like that. <laughs> do whatever you want. And yeah, you can like press Control D and duplicate the layer and add it to the other clips. But if you just keep overdoing it, it's gonna get boring. So don't do it for every clip. So like this here looks cool. But I would recommend for some clips to like add directional blur. And I like to make the uh, direction to 90. And the blur length, I like to make like just higher. Honestly, it doesn't really matter, like 81, let's say. And now let's go to the ending and let's make it to like 20. And then you can just keep doing it over and over again. You just, guys, mess around here a lot. Basically, no rules here. There is one more thing I like to do. I like to add, like, lens effects. So, like, you can press Control alt y And let's cut it up to the size of our clip that we just have. I'm going to add CC Lens. So, CC Lens. And here, I like to make the size at the start to, like, 500, I think. And the convergence, let's keep it to 100. And just keyframe them both. Now, let's press U to see the keyframes right here. And just drag them to the start. And at the ending, I like to make the size to 100 and the convergence to 45 so this will give like this super cool effect and i like to drag them to the ending and what i also like to do is i like to select all, every keyframe and press f9 now you don't actually need to go to the graph editor if you don't want to it's fine because sometimes it just looks cool like this but if you want to like go a bit like deeper into this like you can go to the graph editor and make the graph something more like that and go here and make this like this. You don't need to. And you can also tap on this button to give motion blur, but you don't need to actually tap on it to give motion blur because you'll already have motion blur here. Now let's say you have one clip that goes like this, one clip like this, and one clip like this. Like they're all normal, no effects. Then I actually like to have some effects. So you can like press control Y and just cut it up to the size of your clip. So here, and I think it looks super cool. So like have clips just go like fast, 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 and then have this like black and white shutter. So here's actually how to make it. First, you need to add motion tile and here i like to make the output width to 70 and now let's add echo and i like to make the echo operator to maximum and the number of echoes to three and now let's add noise and here i like to make the noise amount to 45 percent and uncheck use color noise and now i like to add pulsar sign which will slow down the video frame rate so i'm gonna make the frame rate three times lower than i had so i had 24 fps so i'll make it to 8 fps and the last effect we were gonna add here is black and white right here i used it in the intro of the video and i think this looks very very cool um you can also save this as a preset so you, you don't need to remake this all the time so you can like press ctrl a Go to animation, save animation preset, and here you can call it whatever. So black shutter, I guess you can call it whatever, like, I, I don't know, black and white shutter, you can call it like that. And then don't overuse it in your videos because it's just gonna look lame. Don't overuse anything in your music videos, actually. But if you guys want more effects to play around and like have like these black and white effects, then I actually have an opium presets pack, which is an effect glitch and text pack. The pack has over 30 plus presets and there's actually an update coming very soon. So be on the lookout for that. The opium presets pack basically gives you 
see a lot of combinations for these like dark effects as you see from these can and type of music videos so i really like to add them in times of the video so like one time i have no effect and then the other time i have like an opium effect so i can show you what i mean so like you can press ctrl to y and you can go here to effects and presets and if you have the pack you can type opium and just start adding effects so like for example opium 2 okay maybe for this clip it's a bit too dark but i think it looks super cool like to just have it like that for this clip specifically i remember i added opium 6 this is what opium 6 gives you it gives you this sort of sort of like a digital camera look i think it's super super cool um one thing you can do is go to the effects here and you can like delete the motion tile or just uncheck it and this is how it will look very cool for music videos and really fits with the flow and guys i also have a five dollar discount code for the opium presets pack which is called povicas i really recommend to check out the pack because the value there is insane all right guys that's basically it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways have a fun and productive day see ya